So here you can see that I'm in the animation tab and if I want to work around with animation then I can select the cube right here and then what I can do is I can go around and add in this keyframe uh, right here. So I'm just going to enable the auto keying feature and then I'm going to start animating. So I'm going to press Z on my keyboard so I can move this and there you go the keyframe is added and if I were to go around over here onto frame 60 uh, press Z and this is what I have. I can go around and let's say I'm going to change the interpolation right here as well and change the interpolation over here as well. I can also rotate it around right here and maybe uh, rotate it around over here as well. Just, just like this. Now I have some animation. So now uh, in order to work around with the extrapolation, I can go around over here and then what I can do is I can go around into graph editor. So this is what you have by default. So now in order to work around with it, uh, what you can do is uh, you can press shift E on your keyboard. And once you do that, you can see that this is what you have. So there's the constant extrapolation. As you can see, I can also go to linear extrapolation, which actually changes out how this animation works. So let me just go to constant. And this is what you have now. So if I were to press the space bar, you can see that this is the animation. Uh, the cube actually starts playing out right there. But if I were to press shift E on my keyboard and then go to constant extra, not constant, but linear extrapolation, then you got like an infinite loop. So it goes out right here and then you can see that it keeps on animating out as it goes along. So the graph is actually stretched out in, into an infinite level, as you can see. I can press uh, shift E to go back to constant as well. And here you can also make it cyclic. So if I were to click on make cyclic, then the animation simply repeats itself. So I can go around and you can see that this is what happens. So there's this animation. It keeps on repeating right there. I can go around and then work around with each of these handles right here to change around the settings as well and refine the animation according to how I like it. So you can see that this is what you have. So that is what you have right here. Actually, I repeats back right there. And then there you go. It keeps on cycling out just like that. I can press shift E and I can clear the cyclic as well. So I can work around with linear or I can work around with make cyclic and then work around with it accordingly. I can clear it out both ways and I get get I can get back to the original animation. So if you want to have a continuous animation or a cycle of things, then you can work around with the ex extrapolation in graph inside of Blender. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.